everybody. This is Gary. I'm hi. I'm here with Frank. Frank, how are you? Good, Gary. How are you? I'm good. So this is what I wanted to discuss with you.、Um, we have been seeing that、uh, there's a slowdown in the economy. Lately, there's not as many jobs.、Uh, there's inflation, and、uh, in some cases,、um, I have seen some prices, real estate prices, in、uh, other areas that is dropping in other states. Most prominent in the west, of not west, the east coast. Where are we seeing the prices of property? They are not selling at the asking price. In fact, some of the、uh, the close price is actually lower than that what the original listed for. Now the question is: Are we going to see prices in California softening and perhaps a, a small correction? What do you think? I have my own、uh, opinions on it.、Um... Like、my first thought is no,、uh, and I get this question all the time. And <clears throat> the reason that it comes up so much is,、uh, as you know, rates、um, went from three percent, three or three and a half percent, to over seven percent, literally overnight.、Um, and because of that, you know, you you had this huge pool of potential buyers that were decided, you know, I'm I'm just I can't buy.、It. You know, or why would I buy it? I mean, a month ago I could have gotten a three and a half percent rate, and now it went up to seven. Right.、Uh, all because somebody's worried about inflation. That's crazy. So we literally saw, you know, and I don't know the numbers. I, I had, I'd have to guess that close to half of the potential buyers had decided, no, there's no way I'm going to buy right now. It's got, it's got to come back down again,、um, and I'm waiting. So, so this question comes up a lot. Um, especially as as rates are are up and and buyers are are asking, okay, when can we jump back in? And they're also asking.、Um, the, the, the other question I get is, you know, I also want to wait for prices to come down, and that's that's the the other thing that I just don't see happening at all.、Mm-hmm. And and you you bring a different perspective than I do, Gary, because I know that you network with a lot of people all over the country,、mm-hmm. uh, including the East Coast. And and we have very you know they're so you know markets can vary a great deal,、um, and they do.、Um, I my network is mostly Southwest. You know I talk I I do have people that are network in in Arizona, Texas,、um, Nevada. It's mostly the Southwest, and so I don't have to bring the same perspective that you do. But I got to tell you, in the markets that I see, I follow. Which is, you know, obviously Southern California, and then the Southwest. It's not happening, not at all. Like, you know, if you think you're gonna buy when the market, when prices come down,、um, you're gonna be waiting forever, and and it and it's just not gonna happen.、Um, and the, I think, and let's talk about Southern California specifically because I get that other markets are softening. Now the, the question is: Is is Southern California softened? The first, my first reaction is absolutely no way. The demand for for、uh, homes is very strong,、mm-hmm. so I don't see any softening. One of the the biggest concerns that you and I have, aside from the softening issue, is it it makes our job so much more difficult because if the market does start softening, then you and I have to worry about appraisals. That's one thing that's happening right now in、uh, the East Coast. The properties are not appraising. We and we've been in that market before,、um, where property, you know, wasn't appraising. You know, you, you know, property would sell. the The demand is taking off quicker than the the, the values, and appraisers are saying, "Well, hey, somebody's willing to pay eight hundred thousand dollars for this property, but I'm pulling all the closed sales in the area, and everything sold at seven fifty just three months ago." Yeah. So, so we've been in that market, and and we've had to deal with that and struggle with that. I I'm not seeing it right now with appraisals.、Um, I'm not seeing that, you know, and I'm just not. Appraisers are pretty much, you know, going along with the market. And as you know, every time I think, well, we we sold this one much much higher than I think that the appraisal is going to come in at, it just surprises me and amazes me. That the appraisers are able to still find a way of, of bringing the value. So number one, is it happening now? No.、Uh, the second question is, is it going to happen?、Uh, you know, if it's happening in other markets,、um, 
will we be seeing that sort of thing eventually here? Um, and my thought again is no. It's it's no. I, I mean, um, we've you know look at what's happening um, as far as the weather uh, goes in the rest of the you know. I was going to say the other half of the U.S. It's not the other half of the U.S. It's most most of the U.S. Most, is going through yeah. yeah, it's going through some sort of extreme weather problem, whether it be extreme rain, um, you know, uh, hurricanes, tornadoes. Uh, you know, I don't know the difference because we don't get them here. But, <laughs> Who cares, right? <laughs> no, no, I mean, of course, you know, we we don't. You know, okay. we, we're we're concerned about the rest of the country. Hurricanes but, happens near the coast by the okay. by the water. Tornadoes are inland. I learned something today um, <laughs> because, well, and because we don't deal with it. You know, I, you see it on the news, you hear tor tornadoes and hurricanes. And so interesting that I had never paid enough attention to make that connection. So, so good to know. Watch the movie Twister. It's in that. Yeah. That's a tornado. <laughs> I, I'm not, I'm not interested enough in that movie to, to, uh, to watch it. There, there are much better movies out there. Yes. So, and I know that's going to be a controversial topic, but <laughs> so, which brings me back to Southern California. While the rest of the country is is going to some sort of extreme weather, you know all, all the things that, that I just mentioned. Southern California, you know, is is warm. It's starting to get warm, warmer than before. You know, it, it just you know, global warming, whatever it is, it's getting warmer. But it's still tolerable, livable, and 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 many would say desirable. <clears throat> that while the rest of the country is going through these. Uh, temperatures and extreme uh, weather situations i mean we're you know we're we get to you know we can continue with our lives without our lives being disrupted by weather and that's one of the beauty uh beautiful things about this you know southern california the climate that we're in um and why everybody wants to come here i mean you you brought this up in a conversation a previous conversation that we had where you said that from a productivity standpoint, and, and let's talk about that because that was your your topic that you brought it up. Yeah. And from a productivity standpoint, that people wanted to come here because we we you know weather isn't disrupting their uh, their productivity. Well, let me touch upon that. Um, are we going to have a, a, a price correction? Are we having it now? No. Are we going to have it? No. And I, I'm standing on this. Why? And here's my reason. Picking up on that, like we have a very blessed weather. Uh, it's called the Mediterranean weather. There's only a few places on Earth that have this type of weather that is conducive for human enjoyment and habitat. Uh, other parts is actually south of Spain, where it's like that Mediterranean area are parts of Italy. That's actually parts of it. Like it's very enjoyable for you know for, to, to to live in now. If we were, let's say, working on the East Coast, our real estate agents, let's say, for example, New York, some of the agents actually uh, work part-time in, uh, in one state and then they work on the other state. Guess which one is it? They go, they go south. Right? So whenever there's cool. winter in, in, in New York, they will have to move a snow, they call, to work in uh, Florida. Others, actually, um, you mentioned also uh, was Arizona. Arizona have a lot of snowbirds also from uh, Utah and from the Midwest where it has snow like in uh, North the Dakotas. So a lot of these these areas they they, they do have a uh, hybrid economy where they enjoy the um, retirees from other states. They come live in it. So my camera went up. I'll try again. So they have a lot of retirees that they actually bring in their uh, well, the income but it's only part of the year. Therefore, they have a very interesting economy where it has ups and downs and it's very seasonal. The good thing about uh, is our state is that we don't have that seasonality. We have a year round productivity, which means that when the winter time comes, let's say starting November, December, we don't have to worry about, oh my God, my car is not, is not turning on because of the snow. We have to worry about, oh, I might not even make it. Or we have half a day for it. We do not have that. In fact, we have, what, the movie industry? Thanks, because of we have because we don't have that interruption uh, from weather. Do you know that we have the most YouTubers uh, and creative minds here in California than any other areas in the world? What, what do you mean? Well, we have a lot of those uh, content creators. 
Mm. They actually、mm. reside in Southern California. They just、um, because create they, they in influencers, the the people that are big on 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 TikTok, YouTube,、yeah. are, are you're saying are all here in Southern California? Yeah, you name it, you find it here. Interesting. Because you don't have to worry about extreme cold, extreme snow. It's hard to work on those conditions. Therefore, you need an environment that allows you to have that、uh, that allows you to work without interruption. That's one. Second, networking. We have those those creative minds, which means that you can actually expand on your ability to create better and more content. That's just one industry. We also have. The import export. We have the biggest port in the, in the world, actually. That is Long Beach. Actually, it's the second largest. You know which one's the, the the biggest port in the world? Biggest port in the world has to be in China.、So. Yes, it's in Hong Kong. Okay. Yeah. So, and that's the second one here in the U.S. We are the one. They are the one sending and we are the one receiving. And from there, we will ship everything from via train and and、uh, low or ground transportation, eighteen wheelers. So we have. A massive amount of jobs that will be non-stop. Like we would not have a shortage of jobs in that matter because the moment that we that Long Beach doesn't work, we stop consumption in America.、Um, you know, and it's funny because I never think about、um, I never think about the part of Long Beach as being an industry. I never think about the network that supports that through、uh, trucks. Yeah, the just distribution system that's all located here. I always think of you know when we think of Southern California. Me, I think of Southern California. I think of of, of course the、uh, the entertainment industry. You know that's really big here. Aerospace used to be really big.、Um, thanks to to uh, uh, SpaceX, it, it still it it it, it still is, is present here in Southern California.、Um, and then you've got the you know, just all the creatives in in that are in the city of Los Angeles. All these creative minds. Um, that for whatever reason don't want to live in Silicon Valley.、Um, not sure why. Silicon Valley area is pretty nice, but I'm guessing it's really expensive. But you've got all these people, and maybe it's the, the, that, that combination of, of entertainment of, and the creative minds that draws people here. Where you've you've got you know just some very just a lot of solid industries that support us.、Um, and then you just brought it up something really interesting, which is that whole now the infrastructure. That supports the rest of the country. That supports, and so one more reason why people just keep coming over here. Exactly. You know, just there's there's just so much going on here. There's so much、um, the weather, the the economy, the creativity. All of that draws is you know, draws more and more people here.、Um, it's drawing them to Southern California. It's drawing them to L.A. County.、Uh, it's not drawing them to、uh, Las Vegas,、um, and, and despite what what Elon says. Um, or, or what Elon says about Nevada, well,、uh, and Texas, and, and those areas are growing. They're growing a, a great deal,、uh, but it's still not Southern California, and people still want to come and keep coming here.、Um, and as long as they do, how?、Um, and you know, and and we can't build new housing because there is no new housing. With the exception of the the whole ADU industry, which is which is a whole other topic that we you, you and I need to talk about. We need to talk about that. <laughs> yes, yes, because that literally could double our our housing. Yeah.、Um, and solely is contributing to additional housing, but there's at the end of the day, we we can't build new housing in Southern California inside because there's just no place to do it. It's already done. It's already it's already built.、Um, so. You know, when you've got a limited amount of housing that isn't really increasing, and the people that are being attracted to this area, why would prices ever go down? How would prices? I, go down? I, I don't see it. I mean, we have a robust economy, and、uh, there's more that I'd like to share on the reasons why. Maybe we can share that, say that for another topic. But our time is up for now. Okay. I def- definitely want to talk about ADUs because that's a whole other discussion that we could spend a lot of time on. That I think is is really going to、uh, influence our our housing here in in Southern California. This is one thing I want to say about ADU. We can talk about next time. Is that ADU is the next gold rush? Keep that in mind.、Hmm. Okay, I, I that that'll be a great introduction for、uh, for 
that discussion. Yes. So, Frank, if people want to get a hold of you, how can they get a hold of you? Um, easy to get a hold of me either through franklopezbroker.com or you can always call me directly at 626-289-11. Frank, thank you, and I will talk to you next time.